uh, media kits for film uh -huh. and whatever, you know, and uh -huh. special screenings. They set up the website. So uh -huh. we're kind of familiar with the concept and how valuable it is right. in terms of marketing your film. Right. Because traditionally, the distributors in Hollywood are not really keen on how to do that. Right. And, and the social networking is huge. Um, you know, for example, our, the website that we have set up for the ministry. This is Michelle from Mexico City. And we've got she uh, does dubbing, does a lot of the Spanish dubbing English all over the world. His English ministry, where his local churches, has 700. In Spanish, in less than two months, we've got 13. And is that 50. worldwide? And that's worldwide. Where he's on Channel Fox throughout Latin America, so a major television channel, 8:30 a.m. on Sunday mornings, reaching probably 50% non-Christian audience. And the thing is, if we're going to be on television on stations that are reaching your wider audience, we've got to have the dubbing and the production at the same level. Mm -hmm. and and unfortunately, most of Christian media, you grab somebody in your church who's bilingual and you have them do the voice. Right. And it requires an actor who can fully interpret, who can give the full feeling, who can stay with the lip sync Absolutely, Michelle. and with a professional translation. So Michelle, that's what we're able to do. Yes. Go to our site again, yeah. www.33hope.com. Yeah. Now, hit that top story. Welcome to 33? Yes. Oh, that's the blog. That's the blog. Let's see. Go to the back to uh, go to home. Okay. Go to home. I'm at home. Okay, yeah. Now hit that. Hit that story right there. Okay. The video. Now, mm -hmm. You're saying. Tell me again how you would do that in Espanol. Okay. What I would recommend with mm -hmm. something like this that's a, d a dynamic that has interviews, mm -hmm. what I would do is take the narrator's voice and you mm -hmm. put that in dubbing. Okay. And then every time that you're doing an interview, for example, this, with this interview with you, okay. I would put subtitles here. Okay. In English? In, in, no, in Spanish. In Espanol, of course. In Spanish. So we do the Spanish subtitles whenever there's an interview and the narrator's voice is voiced over in full dubbing. And so that way you get the full feeling of the interview and of Excellent. the original voice of the person. That's the way most of um, History Channel and Discovery Channel's programs are done. That's the way they do it. Done. We yep. need you. Thank you so yep. much. My pleasure. Bye-bye. That's great.